I'm Liv Kenya and my friends and I are traveling from Nairobi, Kenya all the way to Cape Town, South Africa. You're using the garden route, using this car. This is our story. guys it's day two of our road trip from kenya to south africa so guys today uh we, we were hoping we'd wake up at six and do so many things so that we'd leave by seven but it's 10 15. let's just say uh it, it was our first day actually setting up a camp and organizing everything so we were a bit slow i'm blaming it on that but of course there are african timers uh we are somewhere around um it's called Lake Manyara. Lake Manyara. Yesterday we were supposed to sleep in Dodoma, but it was not possible. So we are trying to push further south. At least we can go somewhere close to the border. We know we won't get there today, but we are just driving all the way, trying to explore uh, Tanzania. Of course, Tanzania is magical. I love Tanzania because there is always something you've never seen. So guys, stay tuned. And if you have not watched any of my videos, this is that series. It is the South African series and you better follow it because you'll see so many interesting things so that if you'd like to take such a journey, you know exactly what to expect. So our stay here was really nice. It's a very warm place. Actually, I didn't even cover myself. I really, I did, I really didn't need my sleeping bag. Or what's your experience idea? I did not cover so myself at all. Yeah. And I'm naturally a very cold person. What do you mean by cold person? Okay, I feel cold. Uh, no, not, not Your body is a good conductor of cold. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm cold blooded. <laughs> and that is the word. Yeah, this, in this place they use solar. You can see the solar is heating. We also have some solar lamps that we have, we have put somewhere on top of our bag so that it can keep charging. It's always good to carry something solar because solar is free energy. We could not be able to iron our clothes because <laughs> they're using solar again there's no sockets but always carry an invertible charger it's called inverter not inverter yes inverter. it's called a power inverter actually eh, how could i even think of that always carry a power inverter it comes in handy we'll show you how it looks you can literally charge your uh, you can put uh, the plug the usual plug you can charge your computer you can charge anything that has the two it's called what the two knobs or the three knobs you can use the usb it's it's goals it's really goals and we have not done much for an exchange we were supposed to do at the border but we've been lagging behind because we've been using mpesa mpesa global works so today we are hoping to exchange some money get accommodation in good time so that we can pitch our tents we've had some really delicious breakfast Yes, the, the banana cake was just gold. Yes, yes. <laughs> the tea. The tea. Yes. How was the tea? The tea was nice. Eh, Adia. Yes. Adia is all who cooked. I have breakfast. not received even a single compliment, and I woke up. I was the first person to wake up. She was our alarm today to prepare tea. <laughs> she was our alarm today. Manalis. So guys, let's continue with our road trip and kindly support the channel by liking that video if you hit that like button you're ensuring that many more people will be able to see because it will make the video more discoverable uh, write the comment down below what you think so far of this road trip so guys let's explore tanzania this place is is near lake manyara and tarangire national park yes so there, there's so much to see around arusha hey. There's so much to see around Arusha. That is why you'll, you'll come across so many camper vans, so many tour, tourist um, land cruisers, the safari cars, because many people like this place. National parks, natural beauty, natural features, very, very beautiful. And this place costs us how much a day? A day is our treasurer. Okay, they charge 15,000 shill Tanzanian shillings per person, but you can be able to negotiate. Yes, we yeah, paid, paid 10,000. 10, Tanzanian, Tanzanian, Tanzanian shillings, shillings per, per head. person. Yes, that is almost 600 Kenyan shillings. Yes. Yes. So that is very, very fair. Our budget was 1,500 per day yeah. for accommodation. So we we've used like on less than half of yeah, that budget. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Within budget. So remember, this is a travel, 
uh, a budget travel. So we're trying to save as much as possible so that when we go to a place where we cannot come, we can easily get a comfortable uh, Airbnb or uh, what do you call it? Bed and breakfast hostel. Yeah. Yes, the, 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 the bathrooms facilities. and the toilets are very clean. Sparkling clean. Sparkling clean. So hot, water. hot water. Hot water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, was. And if was. And our showers. Our showers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a very decent place. Very, very decent. Yeah, so we'll be on our way. You love uh, bird, uh, bird watching. You yeah, enjoy yeah, this yeah. place. There are so, so many, many birds. birds. Yeah, I mean, it's a bird watcher's paradise. Yes. Uh, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, you can have a look there. Yeah, just look at that. They're coming right next to us. Weaver birds. These are weaver birds. I, I do not know. Okay, I don't know the name of these birds. This, this is a typical uh, Maasai village. You can see those thatched roofs. Yeah. Roofs. You can see they're made, of, yeah, they're made of uh, some mud below and then the, the roofs grass. are made of some grass. They've done some thatching there. Look at that. I think there is where our lake is, the lake that we wanted to see. It's quite scenic. Ah! <laughs> I'm, I'm just wondering what, what factory or what this structure is. That, that factory there, it is a fertilizer factory. It's called Minjingu. Yes, Minjingu Fertilizer Factory. We've just been told by a policeman who was checking. So this is our third police check and all the time they have been very nice. We've not received any fines so far. Thank God. <laughs> that is our definition of a good trip. <laughs> but we are careful drivers. Yeah, we are careful drivers by the way. We are very careful drivers but at times the speed thing, you know, Kenya, Kenya, Kenya drivers just have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> but we try. I think uh, having driven in Rwanda and Tanzania, I would say we are very disciplined. We try. We have really tried. In that, even when you're back at home and people are over speeding, people are, are going against traffic rules, we usually just wander. We've gotten to that point. So, Kutembea Kwingi Kona Mengi, at least we are, we are picking some nice habits from other countries. So, the, uh, the, 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 the policeman has also confirmed that the lake that is just below that mountain mountain range there is like Manyara Just 
so fascinating. On my right, there are so many hills. We are trying to find the name of the, 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 the mountain ranges. I don't know if they are hills or mountains, but I believe they should be mountains. We are trying to find out the name of the, of the mountains on Google, but I don't know why we cannot get it. It's either we are not searching it right or it just doesn't have a name. But right below it is a lake. It's, to, it's called uh, a lake. Adia, what's the name of the lake? On our, on our right. Yes, Lake Manyara. Right. Yes. Lake Manyara. Yes. Lake, Lake Manyara, Manyara is right below there. The, the fact that the, we keep seeing the mountains and we know that there's a lake there, mm -hmm. even I don't know how many, like, almost 50, 50 kilometers into the, the journey, it just makes us wonder how big Lake Manyara is. It must be very big. It is. Yeah, it must be very big. And it's almost 80, 80 kilometers from, we've been told that it's almost 80 kilometers from the main road. We cannot afford that. We're already one day behind. And right now we are just trying to cover some distance because when we return we still pass through Tanzania. So we will show you more on our way back from South Africa. Otherwise, it's been so much fun. I wouldn't have any other team. I wouldn't do it at any other time. Uh, I'll just say we are blessed. So on this, uh, what I've realized on this uh, route that there are so many uh, bushes there are so many uh, are they called shrubs yes yes and uh, also acacia trees are so many this, was, this is a semi-arid area yeah this is a semi-arid area and i think villages are close every time i see this 50 kilometer per hour speed limit i just know that there is a there is a village nearby so in tanzania Please do not even drive a, uh, uh, even one kilometer per hour extra. If it is 50, ensure it is 50. So to be safe, we drive at 40. You see? <laughs> uh, to be safe, we drive at 40 kilometer per hour. So far, we left Nairobi with a full tank. We haven't finished the full tank yet. We are three quarter way. Actually, we are left like a, uh, actually we have we have only used two thirds of the tank. We are left with like a third of the tank so i think so far our fuel consumption is fine and our, uh, the, our tank is 56 we, we checked our tank is almost 56 liters so we are left with like a third of that so you can do your math depending on the consumption of your car from that signpost like manera to be able to access like manera use this route and it's 37 kilometers from the main road Look at that church. I can only picture. I can only picture at how that church will be by the time we are by the time it's it's completed. The town that we've just passed is Mabubu. I don't know if it is a town or it's just a center, but it looks it's, it looks like a big a big center if it is. It is called Magubu. I think the weather is beginning to change. Even the type of the soil is also changing. When we were in the Tarangire side, and also just after Arusha, we realized that there is a lot of corrosion on the soil. They have, I think, black cotton soil, but there's a lot of erosion in that it's so dangerous if a kid walks by that place like in the plain place where there is erosion a kid can even just get an accident and get lost in one of those gullies that have been made by the corrosion but here i think there is some rice farming around this place from what i could see in the farms so i think we are going we are now moving towards a more green side so we expect to see more food on the road <laughs>
there <laughs> and then the big big mountain that has to be a mountain from the map it says that's mount kwaraha mount kwaraha that, kwaraha, that translates to saswahili word translates to pleasure. A, place of pleasure. a place of pleasure i wonder what is there <laughs> Now we are getting into Babati. Into Babati. Yes. I need actually less of blood. I stand. So we are officially in Babati, and you can see it's a very, very neat place. And like the other hills that we've been seeing just behind, which are it looks like they have shrubs. You can see a lot of the soil. Here you in this in this mountain you, you just see it uh, very green. Even people are doing some farming here. This is our second time passing through here. You, rem you remember our road trip from Kigali, returning back to Arusha, we passed through this road and there was a lake on our right. We are hoping to see the lake again. Hopefully it's not dried up because it's, it's sort of a dry season. It's yet to start raining. So let's just cross our fingers that we can access the lake and it has water and some more activities. We got there, last time we got there very early in the morning, around six. Let's hope that we'll get to see people there this time. So this is one of the towns. It's actually a town. It's not a center, it's actually a town. I thank God they have tuk-tuks. Tuk-tuks is the cheapest way to move around you towns. Transacting using M-Pesa, but uh, we've realized that there are some places where you cannot use mobile money or the cards. So we are hoping to get some hard cash. While we have, a, there's another view of the of that mountain down there, the Raha Mountain. It's called Raha, Kwenye Raha or something. So we are hoping also to see that one. that view so guys we're just from getting some vegetables uh, some tomatoes and onions and we've realized that vegetables are not any cheaper in Tanzania maybe it's because they had our the, our accents our Kenyan accents that is why it was a bit expensive but they're not any cheaper in this side this is Babati so in Babati they are not any cheaper unless someone was taking advantage of us. We'll find out as we continue with our journey. I'm next to a bank and I'm feeling rich. <laughs> this is a lot of money. We hope that it will, it will uh, sustain us for the day or we can even get some extra crossing over to tomorrow. <laughs> so this is the money. This is the Tanzanian money. There's an elephant in the 10,000 shillings. It's very similar to the Kenyan 1000 shillings. It's only that the Kenyan shillings, the Kenyan 1000 shillings is brown. And then we have our flag here. We hope to fly it very soon. Patrick and and and, uh, and Jen are over there. They're trying to get some shikaki, chicken shikaki and some chips, some snacks. Adia, are you hungry? Do you want the snacks? No, I'm not hungry. Somehow I'm full. I think I took much, I took too much cake. Oh, and the way you're complaining that we had we had uh, ah, left just some you know, little just amount. You just taken breakfast when we left the camp. You people oh. had eaten much earlier. Oh yeah. So probably I'm, I'm not sure if I want to test them shikakis. Usually I try so many foods, street food. I love street foods, but today I feel a bit full. So we'll see. Maybe once they get it to the car, it will the smell will entice me <laughs> into trying it. But I'm sure they'll just give me a piece because they'll tell me why didn't you tell us in advance? <laughs> no, they did ask and we said exclusively we didn't We did want. not want, but I intend to try their chicken anyways. <laughs> That's me. Eh? Yeah, I, I never really eat my get to eat my food. I'm always eating someone else's food. I order for for this for maybe chapati and beans, but I'll eat someone else's rice or pilau. <laughs> You're a typical girl. I'm a girl, I'm a baby girl. Jen. After surveying the food, 
what, what would you like? Uh, people want some beef mshikaki uh -huh. and uh, chips in my eye. Uh -huh. uh, that's, uh, that's chips mixed with eggs. Uh -huh. and some what plates, are you having? I'm having chips in my eye. Okay, that's can, eggs with chips. You, you can, I'm, you, gonna, I'm exploring. I'm gonna test how you find out how we'll, it tastes. We will test yours. Bring us just one chip, so I'll share with that dear. Alright. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Oh, boy. <laughs> 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 Ow. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I had a I had a So guys, behind us is like Babati. It is mostly surrounded by papyrus reeds, so you cannot really see it. In fact, when you pass by the road, you'll be able to see just the papyrus reeds. You won't know there is a lake, you just think it's a swamp. Now, it's a very, very big lake. We wanted to fly the drone, but those guys say that uh, it is prohibited, but I really doubt. I really doubt because they just wanted to hustle us money and we were not giving them any money. But anyways, Lake Babati is right in the outskirts of the Lake of Babati town. So this hill right ahead of us is full of acacia trees which have dried up, but you can see the diversity of the color on that side. I thought we, we experience fall in uh, in the polar regions only, but it appears it appears as if on this side we also have some fall. See, those are the colors that we see, senior. Yeah. During the fall season. Actually, when there's the jacaranda, it's not yeah. flowering. Yeah. We are way past Babati and we found some very nice meanders. It's a bit hilly and we decided to stop to take a small drone footage of it. And we are 230 kilometers away from Redoma. We expect to be there by 5 p.m. According to our schedule, we are one day behind. Today we were supposed to actually sleep in Iringa, then wake up the next morning, head to Tundoma. But now we are hoping to recover this lost day ahead if you find a place with no with few activities probably will recover the day so let's fly that bird and keep going Good afternoon guys we are at a certain corner and what <laughs> i am doing now is taking my lunch i picked this lunch from a certain town just a few kilometers from here as you can see it's a chips in my eye together with the salad and I'm really enjoying it the guys at Nyotachanga in Manyara for this amazing uh, street food yes, actually chips, chips my eye is one of the most popular street foods in Tanzania so this is a good opportunity to enjoy uh, this food. Uh, one thing I love about traveling is you get to enjoy or to discover how people live and this is how people live and we are enjoying the, the journey so far.
just uh, we are now in Dodoma region and I can't wait to see the city. I'm not sure if we'll be able to see the city today or rather tour the city today but that is in our plan. So stay tuned and you've seen the beautiful hey, the beautiful landscape, meandering roads, the hills all over. You've seen all that footage. Oh my god. This place is so beautiful and I'm told that that is just the tip of the iceberg. When we get to Mbea, we'll see better, better terrain. And I'm, I'm so excited. I'm ready for the excitement and I'm, I'm ready for the nice views. That is what this trip is all about. So let's continue the journey. So we are 218 kilometers to Dodoma. Our expected time of uh, arrival has just... How do you say Kongazeka? Has just moved to 5.30. Initially, we were supposed to get there at, at 5, but yeah. when we stopped to fly the drone, it took some time to calibrate it, so we took 30 minutes there. A lot of shrubs. You see these shrubs? <laughs> I'm just stretching our leg. So far, so good. The scenery has been epic. Tanzania, you have a one beautiful country, and I don't, I don't know why you don't shout it this much yeah. because you deserve to shout on the rooftop. You have amazing topography. Yeah. Beautiful Tanzania. For people who are considering to visit Tanzania, consider the Manyara region. And the Dodoma region. So currently we are in the Dodoma region. Yes. Mm. So a few kilometers to Dodoma. 83 kilometers. The capital city, right? Mm. Yes, the capital we, city. We intend to fuel our car, but so far we are not seeing any petrol station that we can trust. We've just been seeing petrol stations that we've never seen before. So we are still crossing our fingers, but I know we'll get to Dodoma in good time. But first, before we get, we, we even think about Dodoma, just look at that view. Just look at the view of the of the hills over there. I mean, what else could anyone ask for on a road trip where there is nothing? Eh? No shops, no no like uh, settlement of people. That's just beauty. And the quietness. And it's very, it's very quiet. It's very quiet. If we were able to camp here, if we knew we were safe, this would be epic. We are doing a road trip from Nairobi, Kenya to South Africa, Cape Town. So we, are, we came from Nairobi, right now we are in Tanzania. Dodoma should be somewhere down here, but we'll just continue going like that and then we cross over through Tunduma to Zambia. So the whole map is 
it's like this to Zambia and then to Botswana and then to South Africa, Lesotho. We go down the garden route and then we go to, Bot to Namibia. We pass through this route. Up here there's a very thin stretch. And then we go back to Zambia, into Malawi, back to Tanzania and then back to Kenya. It's going to be a long journey. We are very exhausted. First of all, I'm very exhausted. Hey, I'm just glad that we're having this break so that we can stretch our legs. My peak time. Photography session. I'm going. Going at a breakneck speed. Hmm? I'm saying the cars are going at a breakneck yeah. speed. All the cars that are passing here are just passing at 100 kilometers per hour and higher. <laughs> five liter bottles and we've taken like um, six liters and each liter is 4,000 Tanzanian shillings that is quite exorbitant we've gotten another driver who tells us that they adulterate the fuel so we're just crossing fingers that our engine won't have a problem but we do not have an option we do not really do not have an option because we've been told until we get to Dodoma so these are some of the challenges once you cross the Kenyan border say goodbye to the, 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 the high octane fuels. You'll just have to make, make do with any other petrol station you come across. So from today, 
once we get to half tank we are just refueling it to a full tank we are not taking any chances we are going to the kibandaski to get some food we've gotten some accommodation in a hotel uh, and we wanted some fresh food which is affordable and some some food that is uh, chocolate shiba <laughs> We wanted some good amount of food because we've literally snacked for lunch. So they have given us a, a guide there so that he can take us to a nice a nice local restaurant. Is it local restaurant? What is Kibandaski? A stall, a food store. So that we can get some food. It's quite some distance. We've walked for like the last 10 minutes. But I'm told we are here. So here in Wind City Hotel, uh, it's a bed and breakfast option, and it cost us around 950 Kenyan shillings per head. So for each room sharing, it's around 1900. Kenyan shillings, so it was a bit fair. It was fair, it was, it was within our budget, even though we did not find any camping site that was available nearby. So let me give you a short room tour. When you get in, this is the bathroom, and then there is this couch where you can relax. A TV, I'm not sure if it's working, I'll just be turning it on soon. And then there is this huge bed, I think it is a five by six bed and then here are some few of our luggage and a small wardrobe so it is a very simple simple place let me see how comfortable they Ooh. i'll confirm whether it was comfortable later because right now as far as i'm concerned it's actually not bad not bad not bad yeah we've already we're already charging here we're charging everything everything and then transferring some videos to the laptop here. So this will be our stay for the night. We intend to leave very early in the morning. Let me see if we can see anything out here. There's nothing to see. Here is the bathroom. There's some hot water there. Yeah, it's just some simple but decent bathroom. There's a lady who recommended this place when you were passing by the road and asking villagers if they, have, if they know of a decent place where we can stay. So for for 1,900 shillings per room, I would say this is very fair. Considering it, it also includes breakfast, we'll be leaving very early in the morning because we're trying to cover the one day that we've lost on the road. And I think we mostly lost the day because we, we, we did not sleep at night the, the first day, not, the fa not yesterday, but the day before we started the journey, we, we had not slept like at all. That is why we overslept yesterday. So we are now well relaxed. We are ready for the trip. So tomorrow, guys, there's more of Tanzania. Tanzania is very beautiful. I don't know why. I don't know why it's not marketed so much. But Tanzania is very beautiful. Highlight of the day. Oh, beautiful terrain. And the policemen were very friendly. We did not encounter any problem with the policemen. So cheers to the Tanzanian policemen. And also we followed all the traffic rules. <laughs> so cheers to us so guys see you in the morning good morning guys it is day three of our road trip from nairobi to cape town and back so we are in this hotel it's called win city hotel We've ju we are just packing our luggage before we have our breakfast and then we do a tour of dodoma we are currently in dodoma Dodoma is the capital city of Tanzania. I'm expecting it to be big. Some people say it is too small for a city, for a capital city, but we'll find out shortly. So let's have breakfast and then we can hit the road again. So this is where we stayed. It is somewhere by the main road. You'll just see it if you're coming from, from Arusha. It is literally on your right. 
Spaghetti mm. Spaghetti mm. Spaghetti 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 there goes our Tanzanian breakfast. A very healthy meal. Uh-huh. We are in Dodoma, the administrative capital of Tanzania. I'll be giving you a tour of the city in the next episode as we head towards Tanzania-Zambia border. Stay tuned for more episodes that are coming in the next couple of weeks. And please like the video and also share it with your friends and family. If you're joining me for the first time, welcome aboard. And please consider subscribing to the channel because there'll be more awesome content coming through. Bye.